What's up, Legends, and welcome to a very exclusive gameplay video. Today, Pama Deppin and I are going to be playing as Black Widow and Black Panther, two characters that neither of us have ever played as before. So it should be a really interesting watch as we explore these characters and try to maximize what they have to offer. So yeah, let me know what you think of the characters in the comments below after this video, and I hope you enjoyed this amazing game we had. And we're live. Oh. Pom, would you like to spin the first player token to see who goes first? Of course. It's <laughs> going to be a you. Okay, I get to go first. Uh, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is plop down an Avengers Mansion. Spicy. I will use it to let myself draw a card. I will then throw down an attack robotics, which is a preparation that lets me cancel boost cards or boost icons. And because I'm Natasha, I'm alter ego, after I play a prep card, I can draw a card. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna do I wanna flip? I get plus one attack for each side scheme and play. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm going to flip, and I'm going to thwart, because that's what I do best. All right, your turn, Pommy. All right, so I will use T'Challa's Foresight to search my deck for a Black Panther upgrade. Well, that's a setup ability. Yeah. Okay, okay you're setting up. Part of my setup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the first one I found. Should I just go with it? Oh, okay. Dude. Do one that helps with four. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that would make sense. Do I have one that helps with thwarting? I think so. I don't know where your cards do. Uh, yeah. Would you like to shuffle my deck? Yeah. Thank you. All right. So I will start by playing an Avengers Mansion. Totally did not rig that to happen. <laughs> Are you going to use it? Yeah, but you have my deck. <laughs> Forgot about that. There you go. Use my mansion to draw a card. <laughs> um, that's unfortunate. I can't justify getting rid of any of these. <laughs> so that's. I'm gonna flip, and I will be scoring for two. Oh, we can use our attack on that as well. Okay, we cool. Use our attack. cool. To thwart that. The Red House. Because Red Skull took over the White House. All right. We ready everything. We discard. And we draw up to our hand size. Ooh. Very interesting. Okay. The villain will get plus two threat. For each player and then after resolving step one of the villain phase we reveal the top card of the side ski deck censor the pass which starts with what six what does that do palm when defeated each player chooses up to three cards in the discard pile and shuffles it into their deck oh that's really good yeah all right red skull will attack me His base attack is two. All right, we're just going to take this one with the boost. That's the wrong deck. Take this one. If you are in hero form, the villain attacks you after this activation. Do not deal any boost cards for that attack. Does that count as a boost icon, the star? Um, does it just say the words boost? It icon? just says the word boost icon. 
a great question. That is a great question. Well, let's just say no. <laughs> Alright, so he attacks me again, just with two, so I'll take four damage. Cool. Uh, actually, no, I probably defend that second attack, just to not take four damage. Uh, and now he attacks me. Okay, so we're just gonna take it. <laughs> so that is five damage. And he can't, and I have retaliation. He can't take damage because of the red house. I am useless. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, and now we get encounter cards. Of course. Do I have something that can? Not straight away. All right, here we go. <laughs> Shadows of the past. Reveal your set aside nemesis minion and put it into play engaged with you. Hello, Taskmaster. Reveal your set aside nemesis side scheme and put it into play. When revealed, place one additional threat here. Shuffle the rest of these cards into your deck. So normally when we play this, Palm is the one that gets Shadows of the Past, but today it's me, so that will be fun. Alright. Uh, and I get a Hydra Exo Soldier. It's a 2 2 with toughness and 5 health. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> You're the first player now. Yep. Good luck. Thanks. This is gonna be a short game. I'm gonna use my mansion. <laughs> Draw a card. Oh, beautiful. Do I use your mansion on me or do you want it for yourself? Go ahead. Thanks. Draw a card. Sharing is caring. Okay. Um we're gonna use Genius and Even the Odds to pay for a Quinn Carrier. Then we will use the Quinn Carrier and Strength to play Jessica Jones. So she has plus one thwart for each side scheme in play. So she currently has four thwart. Um, I don't like that guy. Jessica is. Going to for sensor the pass. Which gives us stuff after we beat And it. takes consequential damage. And then Black Panther will thwart sensor the pass. Nice. Yeah, I'll take those resources. It's three cards? Yep. Any three cards back. Well, I kind of have junk cards, but that's all right. Oh, I forgot these are also cards. Yeah, still junk. Who made this deck? I believe you did. And I will flip. Because I don't want to die. You won't die. I'm a protection deck. I don't trust you. You don't trust like that? Not when you're anything other than aggro, I don't trust you. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I can I can do something kind of cool. Uh. That's an action. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, let me make sure the math adds up here. I'm gonna flip down. Unfortunate, I know. Then I'm gonna play Espionage, which I can do because I'm a spy. And now when something would surge, I get to draw two cards. And because I flip down, I get to draw a card for playing a 
Well, I really didn't want to do that, but here we go. All right, and now with the extra card I drew, I will play Covert Ops, which lets you remove four threat from a scheme. And then I can use the villain, so he will only scheme for one of us. And I had to discard a good card to pay for Covert Ops, but sometimes that's just how it has to be. All right, so we can ready everything. Oh boy. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I drew some good cards. I like the spice that I'm seeing. Cool, 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 cool. All right, we're, we're in a little bit of a better spot, it sounds like. The villain gets that, and then he also gets a new side scheme. Hydra reinforcements. When defeated, the player who defeated the scheme discards a non-elite minion. I like that. That has four. Oh, there's also an acceleration icon on that one. So that happens there. Uh, Eeyore goes first. Uh, yep, he's confused. He will then scheme against me. Nice. Gets rid of an assault and just adds two. And Taskmaster will scheme against me. And he has plus two because I have two upgrades. Sending the main scheme to nine. Did you count his two? I did not count his two. Sending the main scheme to 11. And now we deal in counter cards. You get one, I get one, and you get another one because of Hydra reinforcements. I got a Hydra Jet Trooper with Quick Strike. Good thing I am. In alter ego mode. I got a Hydro Exo Soldier, which is the one you have. And I get infinite power. I don't get infinite power. Um, give Red Skull a tough status card. And Red Skull schemes. <laughs> oh, he just got himself a gun. Oh, cool. But it's only two? Yep. <laughs> Only two. two. Cool. So he's at 13? At a 16. Oh, <laughs> good thing you're a justice deck. Yep. Nice. Get some fat fives in there. All right. I'm the first player now. Yes, See what happens are. when you're allowed to go first. Um, all right. This is, is going going very well, I would say. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tap Avengers Mansion, see what I get. Very intriguing, very intriguing indeed. Thank you. I will then play Widow's Bite, which is a preparation that lets me draw a card because I'm an alter ego. Heal, but then I can't thwart anything, and if I don't thwart anything, we're gonna lose. <sighs> Jessica can thwart for four, right? Yes. Uh, hmm. Probably would have been better to wait on, like, shuffle things back until Jessica was down. You know, when you put it like that, we seem rather foolish, don't we? Um, don't we? As always. I have a lot of weird stuff. All right, I think I probably need to heal <laughs> because I am not set up yet, which is unfortunate, but I will flip back up. I will. I need to play like everything in my hand, which is unfortunate because do you need your card draw? Um, I would like my card draw, but if you need it, I can give it to you. It might be nice. Uh, you he, he, sharing is caring. Ooh, perfect. All right, so I will. Hmm. 
I'm gonna play. Oh, I need all these cards. I need all these cards, Pong. This is so bad. Okay. I'm gonna play Nerves of Steel, which will give me resources for defense events, which is crucial. And then I will play. Dance of Death. I will deal one damage to an enemy. I will deal. Where do you where do you want two damage to go? Do you care? Um. I could ping that guy. So when he attacks you, that works. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'll deal two damage to this guy, and then I'll deal three more damage to Taskmaster. If he perishes. And that will be it for my turn. Thank you very much for the extra card. You're welcome. So I will use my coin carrier to help me pay for tactical genius, setting up my skills. Then that will have a forever card. Yes. Uh, I will have Jessica Jones Thor here to just get rid of this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take some consequential damage, please. Good. And then you get to discard a non elite minion. Right. This could get discarded. Be gone. Do I heal? Do I heal? Thor. Thor. Let's go. We're not going to lose yet. Um. Yup. <laughs> All right. Ready everything. Draw off the hand pad. Things are gonna happen. Things are gonna happen. All right, it is his turn. So he will get three total power. So now he's at 14 out of 16. Then this flips. Mass Chaos. When revealed, each player discards the top five cards of their deck and places one threat here for each different type of resource icon they discarded this way. That was five? Five. Oh, baby, you got all four for me. All four for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to lose. Uh, this also has the crisis icon, meaning we cannot, <laughs> cannot board the main scheme until that's gone. Perfect. He will attack me. He has plus three attack. Um, I'm going to tap Nerves of Steel and play Desperate Defense, so I will defend against this attack with plus two, so my defense is four, and if I take no damage from that attack, I get to ready my hero. So he's gonna boost, and I am going to discard attack robax to cancel the boost icons on that card, and deal one damage to the villain for each boost icon canceled that way, except I don't think he can take damage, so that doesn't happen, except uh, after you trigger the ability of a prep card, you control deal one damage to an enemy. Oh, so I can actually just kill that guy for you. Works for me. I, I'll just kill that guy for you. Bing, bing, bing. I'll keep this there. Yes. Um, and then I ready because I didn't take any damage. Then this guy attacks me. And I think I just take two damage from that. He attacks you. All right. I will not defend it. You, you are not going to defend it? I'm good. All right, I'm going oh, to play the foil uh, when a boost card is turned face up during. Oh, I'm not smart. What does it say? <laughs> it is specific to a scheme. <laughs> <laughs> so you defend it, right? Nope. <laughs> what do you mean? No, you can die. <laughs> we can cheat palm. It's not like we're on film or anything. <laughs> All right, that's all right. 
Okay. Eight's good it's just to take down the belt. That means you don't get an encounter card, right? So it's just one? That sounds right. See? Play like Mike. If you can't read, you can't get extra encounter cards. Insight one. Uh-oh. When attached side scheme is defeated, there was nothing I could have done about that, right? There was nothing I could have done. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right. Now he could have just told me to read better. When attached side scheme is defeated, deal the first player an encounter card. Well, I may as well just put it on the mass chaos one. Not cool. All right, Avengers Mansion, draw a card. Um, oh. Got another Dance of Death. Will that help? That would actually just solo down that guy, but I'd be spending my entire turn doing that. All right, yep, I think we just do that. I'm gonna play Dance of Death for one, two, three, which deals one damage to an enemy, which deals two damage to an enemy, which deals three damage to an enemy, because this guy has five health, he is dead. Um, I will... Oh, we forgot about his gun. Oh, he has plus one attack. Oh, perfect. Oh, range and piercing. Oh, fun. Well, yeah, that doesn't... I still would have not taken any damage from that attack anyways. Okay. Um... Crisis just means I can't port the main scheme, right? Yes, threat cannot be removed from the main scheme. He has 15. All right, I'm just gonna afford that. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna discard this. And that will be the end of my turn. <laughs> and I don't ready. have any more turns. <laughs> scheme? Well, he needs the, the numbers first. Okay, he gets Which the is numbers only, is it, first. It's two. It's still two, right? Either way, he flips it. Because <laughs> it was one away. Wait, what is it? Do the math. We're at 15. It flips at 16. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when it flips, Palm? New World Hydra. The Red Skull is one step closer to unlocking the full power of the Infinity Stone. You need to stop him before he does, and all reality is bent to his evil will. When revealed, reveal the top card of the side scheme deck and put it in play. But he gets one from the other one, right? From oh. scheming, right? What does it say? After? Does it say after? Well, you threw the card over there. After. We're down bad, so... Force response, after resolving step one of the villain phase, reveal the top card of the okay, side scheme so deck. Either way, one. either so way. He still does it. He's, he's getting a bunch oh, of This starts... Oh my god. That starts at two? Does it still play up to 22? Yes. We haven't done any damage to him. No, we can't. And by that, we, I mean you. That has five. No, I'll you be can't do damage eventually. Either. Eventually. And now he attacks me, right? Mm -hmm. With his base value is four. Oh, okay. All is not lost. For you see, I will play Nerves of Steel for desperate defense while defend with, oh no, he has five. Uh, that won't ready me. No, it will not. So I won't do that. I'll just This is very sad. Yeah, or I think we have to do that. So I'll defend for four. He'll flip this. It's nothing. So I take one. Boop. I do not ready. Which is unfortunate. Then encounter card. It's another one of these. Fox. Whoa! <laughs> I figure all the children have already gotten bored by now. Um, Good thing we can edit. <laughs> that was my turn. 
Yep, these aren't. Oh! After a minion enters play, discard this, deal two damage to that minion, and stun it. And then I deal one damage to an enemy. Because he can't take damage. Cool! What's stopping him from taking damage? That stupid card? The Red House. We can get rid of that though, right? Well, if you thwart it. Why didn't I get rid of it? Oh, I, well, eh, I guess that would probably would have been better. All right, Avengers Mansion. Oh, another one of those. Energy Barrier, which has reflection counters, which will help me slowly whittle away his health. Um, I think I can afford to flip down. You want? <laughs> What's the worst that happens if I flip down? What's the worst that happens? Red Skull takes over the world. I'll flip down. I'll play another espionage, which will let me draw a card with my alter ego ability. Uh, I'll play unflappable, <laughs> which is never going to trigger. All right, we're ready. Everything. I get to draw six cards this time. Nice. I don't. Reshuffle yet. Red Skull adds his three thwart. Or, or threat one of the villain phase. Cool. So he has three. Then he ski. Oh, he, yeah, he, he does that. adds the sleeper. Rising from the atomic river, the sleeper has awakened to answer the Red Skull's summons. Sleeper has 10 health. The side scheme cannot leave play while the sleeper is in play. Mm -hmm. uh, the sleeper is now engaged with the first player. When the sleeper is defeated, this will get removed. And now he schemes for two plus zero. Zero. Lucky day. Let's just make that a five. This guy schemes for a two. Let's make that three. So that's at what, nine out of 22 already? Yep. Then I get an encounter card. The sleeper wants to scheme. The sleeper also wants to scheme. Attached to Red Skull. When he activates, give him an additional boost card for each side scheme in play. Oh, when Red Skull boosted, he still had a gun to stay with another. It's all good. We, we're gonna win this turn. Oh, wait, I just drew all my good cards like now. Okay, that's annoying. Um, okay. Preservation for a Black Widow Gauntlet. I'm gonna draw a card with my mansion. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tap the Gauntlet to play Target acquired, which will let me draw a card with my ability, and now I get a face down encounter card. I'm gonna die. Yeah, what is he drawing? Six boost cards for his attack? I'll flip up and thwart one, which he'll get back. Mm-hmm. Gulp. I will throw down a synth suit, and that will be all for me this turn. I just want something to surge. That would be, oh, I'll flip. Yeet. Yeet. Hey, you got rid of the red house. Victory. These are shuffle now, right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. How does this guy have damn? Oh wait, yeah, that's not tough, that's stun. Can we just record another game after this and pretend like it was the first one? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the 
So, villain's turn. I need to draw my cards. I could draw defense events. I could draw defense events. <laughs> I could draw defense events. <laughs> okay. It's all good. So th things are going to happen. I did draw some defense events. All right. So and scroll does his stuff. Oh, you could write your cards. Yes. Sense of the past. Oh, that one. That one's good. Yep. That's the wrong type. All right. So he's gonna tap on five. Oh, it did not bounce the way I wanted to. I've never used so many fives in one game. All right. Are you gonna defend this? So he has one plus those five. So six, six, and he's gonna draw six boost cards. Is it each scheme or side scheme? Uh, when Red Skull activates, give him an additional boost card for each side scheme. Okay. Applied. So all, oh, right. So six total is yeah, five plus this, one. This original. Okay. Um, and the attack does have piercing and range. I'm gonna defend. <laughs> and I have plus one defense. Alright. Um, Ready to reveal all of his boost cards? Do it one at a time, because I can cancel some of them. Alright. The first one is a two. Alright, uh, yeah. I'll discard that to cancel that crypto. Oh. Boost ability? Not boost icons. Never mind. Um, two? Sure, we'll just can I'll cancel it with preemptive strike. All right. The next one is going to be a one. Okay. Then another one. Then a boost icon. Like the a boost ability. Uh, oh, I'll cancel that one. Oh, it would be only if it resolves during an undefended attack you do something. Then I will not cancel that one. I'm going to ping his tusk, by the way, using my ability. Alright. Uh, okay. That's another two. One more. And a boost icon if it was undefended. That was six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this one was cancelled. So he's attacking for ten. Yep, you defended two of it. I defended three, three of it, so and I have exactly seven, seven health. But I have energy barrier. When I take any amount of damage, remove one reflection counter from here, prevent one of that damage, and deal one damage to an enemy. So I'm gonna deal one damage to him. Oh wait, yeah, he can't take damage now. This guy's stunned. And what are you going to do about the guy attacking me for three damage? The guy attacking me for three damage. Well, you see... Is the sleeper putting you to sleep? The sleeper is rocking the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> Wakanda forever is in my hand. It's like...